Time for a little something laid back compared to what I was playing just before. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue the Captain Toad treasure tracker. Uh, yeah, if you're watching there on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've uh, been enjoying this so far. I like this game. Time to continue the diaper adventure. Okay, there's three gems on this stage as well. Gem. I mean, this this boss is just doing its own thing. Flapping its wings, I'm just living life. Oh. I think I messed up. I think I wasn't supposed to do that. I don't see a way to, uh, to get that gem without that. I think I have to get it before I pull the switch. Just kind of autopiloted there a little. Go, go, go. Before it moves it any further. Ah, no. Oh, I did. Ha! <laughs> I was pressing B to run, and then B is also. A and B are like pull the switch. Which okay. So I can't run in that part. Cause I was using A to to pull the switches and then No, it's both buttons. Please, just let it be. There we go. Was that so high? Oh! <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, that was my bad. But I got the gem now, so I don't have to worry about it. There we 
I, I can climb this freely now. Ah. Oh. Cut through it. Jeez. Okay, we'll be fine. Just stick to this. Alright, now I just need to wait for it to... ...to push it back. We'll just chill here. We're good now. Sort of. I love how it just waits. How this kind of leads into Mario 2. The whole throwing vegetable thing. Where are those vegetables even coming from? I guess, just magic summoning. So lucky. Hey! That's not fair. I was about to get that one. Straight down the gullet. <laughs> Where's the star? Does this look like the face of mercy?
Just making sure. I got some potential thumbnail stuff there. Alright, well that was Captain Toad, huh? Very quick game. It's, it's ten minutes and we're already done. <laughs> That's not true. There's more to do. It's just, uh, I don't know why it gives you credits here when this is more or less the halfway point. But there is, there is more to do. Uh, I won't share my thoughts. Because <laughs> I'm not done. Uh, can't skip the credits though. Oh, wait, when did you guys see lava levels? Oh, we haven't. Except, I guess if you count where that boss was. I still think they need to do more with this series. It's possible that maybe this game just didn't sell well, maybe that's why they haven't done more with it. But, I think it's cool. Yay! Oh. The end? No, it's not. Say? Episode 2 is now open. See? That's just episode 1. Uh, before we continue... I need to... Get... Get this, and also, um, get the 70 coin. Okay, let's find... Pixel Toad. This is probably gonna be quick. It's either down here or it's gonna be on the arena itself. The problem is this bird is making noises, so I can't hear easily where the, the pixel toad is. Oh, there it is. Got ya. Okay, now I just gotta do the stage with 70 coins again. I'm guessing is just grab every coin practically. I'm not sure how I get those other ones, but I'll figure it out. Ah. Okay, got it. I'm hoping this is just going to be enough. 
Okay, 61. So what an annoying bird. <laughs> okay. I mean that's that's seventy, so that's it. Do I have to win the fight as well? I would imagine so. I do like how this thing ends up dying. Well, it doesn't even die, it just gets a, too obese to fly. Very cartoon ending. skip at this time. <laughs> Good. Okay. There we go. Three uh, toad stickers. All right. It's, it's this stage again. Again, so nice looking. But this to me is like... 
Did they did they learn their lesson? <laughs> Deja vu. It almost makes it seem like it's two games. Like it's a sequel. Here I go! Aw, oh, no more diaper adventure. Okay. Let's see, these stages are more interesting. Miss something? Come here. There you go. Ah. <laughs> Stage is a lot longer. Oh, I haven't even gotten a single gem yet. Just realized. That's probably not great. A gem. It's the third gem. I missed out on basically everything else. How on earth do I get that? <laughs> Clearly there is work to be done on this stage. Pixel Tide. Alright, we'll do that first. Here I go. <laughs> hmm. Oh, see, I see where I went wrong.
Get off that. These stages are definitely going to take more to do. Here I go. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't grab that. Well, yeah, I'm curious how you got that gold mushroom. That's the other one that I have no idea on. I bet there's like a hidden warp spot or something. Is this like fall from? Oh, it might be like a fall from above thing. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> but I mean, I guess it depends what the toads are made out of. This fair is very spongy. And those shattered bones. Stumper, sneak around. Carefully. What on earth? How long is that thing? It's dead now. That's gem three. to use this. Okay. There we go. 
That's in spot. the key reset. Doesn't just let you leave it. Wait, but then... This is correct. Nope, it's not right. Oh, okay. I got lost. Alright, I see it now. Do that? Yeah, I did. Alright, nice. I just gotta find Pixel Toad now. Here I go! Okay. Where are you? Sound, where is he? It's like very faint, but I can hear it. I bet he's behind the wall on one of the piranha plants or something. Wow. 
Wow. He's in this corner. I just gotta get rid of this thing properly. Yep. Ha ha. These stages are a lot harder. Okay, I'm ready. I see it. Get this. This game has gyro aim for other parts, but for this it doesn't. the gem. Okay, well. A hundred and forty coins? Jeez. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to get good at shooting. Pixel Toad first. How am I supposed to- no. It would have to be at the end. So how else am I supposed to spot him out if I'm shooting? Damn, why couldn't this be my coin run? <laughs> this went really well for a coin run. Okay, where is he? What? He's not here. Thank you. 
to be at the end. to be at the end. Okay. Before dropping down. Don't drop down. You oh ha ha ha. Okay. Now the 140 coins. How on earth do I get that? I don't think it's realistic to get it at the start. It's probably when I go around the corner. going to be the coin run. Hundred and sixty. Oh, yeah. oh wait, one hundred and forty. Never mind, I got it. Sinister street signs. That's a mechanic right there. Yes! Alright, two gems already. Stealth drop. Damn, I was going to say good job, guys. Oh, 
Oh, come on. That should have fallen on top of him. Alright, well, I can go straight for that. I'll get rid of all the ghosts. Kind of in an annoying corner. Stand still. <laughs> there we go. I'm hoping that's a goal. Take it. Alright. Oh, bonus stage time. Here I go. I'll go for this. Stop. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Here I go. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't change it, so it's uh that was quick. So it's Toadette. Pixel Toadette. Floaty Fun Water Park. Here I go! <laughs> <laughs> They're in tubes. Oh, what? That doesn't count as a stomp. is the sea level. Okay. Now this makes sense.
Surprised they can't swim though. Like I understand maybe jumping, but they're like uh, just stones. They just sink. I'm gonna make it. Alright, gold mushroom acquired. Now I just have to survive. to defeat all the Goombas. Damn it. Alright, I'll find the Pixel Toad first. I guess I should just skip ahead to the part where, like, I beat them. Oh wait, no, I have to do Pixel Toad. This is still probably the right call, this first. I hear him. Oh, there he is. Oh. All right, beat all the Goombas. Here I go. I'm just going to skip to that part. I kind of have to lure them away first. What? Oh, there was another one waiting. Crap. It's not going to work. <laughs> I need them all kind of clumped together. I gotta be patient. Drift the Long Canyon. Here I go. Oh no, poison. Yeah. 
and Hammer Brothers. <laughs> Just hammer stun them. Nice try. Okay, so there is a second opportunity to get it. That's supposed to be something I was gonna use. Am I supposed to get that? I can probably reach it with the vegetable throw. Time up. Played it long enough. What was that sound? Hold on. Ah! 
Oh. That's probably the stage objective. Fingers crossed. Didn't take damage. Jeez. Uh. All right. Here I go. <laughs> That's uh, quite the requirement. Coins. <laughs> That's so many coins to kind of ignore. No, getting them. I got the feeling just later I'm gonna need stuff. That's so satisfying. Okay, hold it up. Cheating. Strategy. I'm getting the gold shroom as well. Good stage. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, now pixel type. I wonder if it's going to make me go very far for this. coins count for anything. They might not. Yeah. 
I hear it. We are installed. Room. I heard the sound effect. Be hit in there. Sliding slab shuffle. Here I go. This is going to be another one that's do it in. A set number of moves. Not this turn. Straightforward. It's going to be on a set number of moves. Oh, yeah, yeah four, four touches. Here I go. Okay. Oh, I don't even have to touch it there. I feel like it's like a That's three. And then this is four, and then we can't touch it again. On a stage. Here I go. I'll do the cherry one this time. Whoa, this is different. Oh my god. <laughs> Still not even two hundred. fun though. Okay. Pixel toad time. Here I go.
Just seeing if I can do it without moving. I don't know. Spooky Spectres at Shadow Manor. Here I go! It doesn't hurt them. Are they gonna follow me in here? Wait, what did I just get? <laughs> I got something. I guess I got another gem. Risky. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, got the goal. What? <laughs> I mean, honestly, for someone that doesn't one hundred percent, fair enough. We should just listen. I already hear him. Gotta be close. Mm -hmm. 
It just got further away. Go there. Where is it? Wait, they fell down? I hear it, it's like right here somewhere. It's at its strongest here. See it. I hear it, but I don't see it. Ah. Where is it? If I fall onto it at the end, that'll ruin things. somewhere annoying. I've <laughs> looked everywhere. I can hear it, I just can't see it. It is somewhere in that vicinity. The signal is strongest here. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I can just hit it for a lucky spot, but I don't know. Thank you. 
Hey, why's, why's my light gone? What? There we go. Must have turned it off. I, I really don't see what this is. Window? Oh, window. What if it's the window behind me? I haven't checked behind me. It might be behind me. Yeah, it's somewhere here. The signal is at its strongest here. answer to this, aren't I? this thing is. <laughs> Where is it? starts about here around the ladder. It's at its strongest at the top here, so... Hey, Colin, how's it going? Losing my mind. Where is this thing? The sound's gone quiet. following the sound. It's almost Friday, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what this thing is. I'm gonna go to the end, maybe. Oh crap. Ah, oh, damn it, I fell off. This is a little bit frustrating. 
Especially the sound effect it's making. How am I supposed to get past that? <laughs> Why is this one so much harder than the other ones? The other ones, the solution has been very simple. Maybe the solution is simple. Watching Ocarina of Time finish the forest temple, and you were like, Did I forget the heart? Oh, yeah, no, I did that a couple times, for sure. But in my defense, like, I was probably playing that late at night. That stuff happens. I did it in Wind Waker as well, but I realized it immediately. understand why it's allowed it's uh, if you want to do the three heart run pretty much but the problem is sometimes the camera just immediately takes you to the exit point Did I figure out that I can play the Sun Song to change it from day to night? Probably. I don't remember. It was like two years ago. <laughs> I, I'm like on the verge of looking this up. Where is it? This is such a minor thing. I think I know where it is, but the problem is these ghosts are blocking me. Oh my god. <laughs> it's, in, it's in that corner. Ah, oh, that one was annoying. Boss time. Hey, okay. No more diaper adventure. Yeah, I mean, Ocarina of Time, I, I only played, like, maybe three times. Four, I guess, with the one two years ago. So, what I need to do in that game is not ingrained into memory, like, say, A Link to the Past, where I, I know that game like the back of my hand. And Zelda 2. Zelda 1 up until, uh, Castle 7. The graphics look nice compared to the N64 version. I think the main reason I played it was just because it had the quality of life where you don't have to do the gear swapping, you just touch the screen and then it changes gear. So it's less menus. So it is a lot nicer, and the Water Temple had uh, some revisions, so like, 
it shows you what's connected to what through um I don't know, they, they look like runes on the walls, but you know. It's like artwork on the walls tells you what's connected to what, which is nice. So it's a, it's a major improvement. And people have taken the 3DS version and modified it so it like has really, really nice textures, so... They make it run at 4K. So there's stuff like that for it. But I could have played the Nintendo 64 version if I really wanted to. But I just, I don't know. I think I wanted... The experience where the Water Temple wasn't uh, a headache. This is the one complaint I have about this game is like, I'm, I don't know how many hours into this right now and it's still giving me instructions and they pop up and they're big. I, don't, I didn't get all the gems, but I'll, I'll do another run of it. Hated the water temple, everyone did. It was very easy to get disoriented, you know. And to backtrack was just a lot of, uh, a lot of pain. Because you had to swap items multiple times. You had to change the water levels, it was just... I think it was a good idea, in theory, in practice, if you got lost. I had to do it without taking damage and I had to get the other two gems. I think I know what happened, because there was rising lava. That's why. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, alright. <laughs> I got greedy. I don't have to do the zero damage thing right now. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. Wait. Oh, shit. It's at the start. I think. Yeah, it is. Sneaky. The Zelda games, I kind of enjoyed playing through Majora's because it was the first time I was playing it. And that, the world in Majora's seems to be more handcrafted. Like, I like the grandness of Ocarina of Time, but the worlds look better in Majora's Mask. They just seem more handcrafted. Things look nicer. At least in my opinion. I can understand that the gameplay is like very uh, polarizing just because it's, it's different. Did I get all the masks? Yeah, I believe I did. Yeah. I got the, the Fizz deity thing at the end. 
I think I have. I think I maybe I didn't get it all the masks, but I got enough masks to get the first deity thing. That last fight was something else. It's the weirdest last fight in the Zelda I've seen. Oh, Majora's Mask is like very dark as well. Like particularly the the quest where you have to reunite uh the, the couple. Like that that quest, really dark. It's one of those things that, um, I don't know how anyone figures out that game. Like, you, you need a strategy guide for that game. Or play it so many times that you figure it out. You had a book, yeah. I think that game is worthy of a strategy guide, because some of the missions you just don't know they're there. Unless you're at the right place at the right time on the right day. Or maybe you've done the prerequisite and then you're at the right place at the right time on the right day. Just, there's too many variables. What have I done? I thought maybe the other gem was going to be there. I'm still missing one, that's what I'm trying to get. Parents got your book when they saw you and your brother struggling. That's nice. My parents would never have done a thing. <laughs> Put a like, figure it out. Keep hitting your head against that brick wall. Play Zelda one for ten years and don't finish the game. Then we don't have to buy another one until you finish Zelda one. Alright, they didn't really say that. Like, they're not- they weren't cruel. But I- I credit Zelda 1 to, like, the reason I overcomplicate games. But also the reason that sometimes, when it comes to convoluted stuff, I get it the first time. And now I have to do this without taking damage. That's- it's gonna be fun. The only way we got to check out strategy guides were if we went to the library and they had, um... There's magazines that had strategy guides in them. That was honestly the only way we got to see them. But I think by that time, the Nintendo 64 was out, so a lot of the games weren't really applicable. Oh, yeah! Sometimes how to do things came from our older cousins. Hey! Okay! Or the playground. Particularly with Pokemon. For better or less. Just gotta get to the end, that's all. Your oldest cousin was good at games, so you'd watch him play to see what to do. Yeah, I had a 
a cousin who had the Super Nintendo before any of us, so... Pretty much be at, at his house almost every day. But even before that, I used to watch him play Castlevania on the NES. Or like Mario. I'd also keep fighting him in Street Fighter 2. Until I eventually got good enough to beat him. My brother, my younger brother used to rage. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, oh, I got hit. I have to restart. Because he would keep picking Blanca and use, like, the electric shock move and my brother didn't know how to counter it because he couldn't... He couldn't use ranged attacks, he didn't know how to do it, so he just got frustrated. Didn't teach him? Nope, he was like, figure it out. He said the same to me and I figured it out. Yeah, but then, you know, in A Link to the Past, he went to America for three weeks. And when he came back, I had finished the game and gotten the Golden Sword. And he didn't have the Golden Sword. And he was like, where'd you get that sword? And I said, figure it out. It's one of my favorite memories. The time I found something before he did. Oh, come on! The time I found something before he did. Did he get it eventually? No. He just ended up beating Ganon and was like, okay, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Oh, I gotta, I gotta get this, this time. I think the reason he never found it was just because he never played Zelda 1. The reason I found it was because I played Zelda 1 and tried it. When I got to a particular point in the game, I tried everything, and that led me to find the sword. Because he didn't try everything, he didn't get the sword. Please, no. Okay. Okay, uh, not, not again. Not today. Okay, I'm safe here for a minute. I didn't get hit by that, that falling lava again. I need to be more patient. Oh, I need to be more patient. No. <laughs> I'm so I'm so impatient. All right. The 
the sad thing is I still have to find the pixel tide after this. Crap. Could've gone. Your daughter took over Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, yeah, kids like that game. It's a good one. It just sucks that you can only have one island per Switch console. I feel like... I understand why they did it. It's like for cart play. But at the same time, it would have been good to have... Oh, come on! <laughs> the shield didn't rotate in time. I just want to get this level done so I can go play Final Fantasy. I thought I had it that time. Hey, Mrs. Han. Yeah, I mean, I forget how it works, but there's like some restrictions on the Animal Crossing islands. It's like per console, you only have one island or something along those lines. And then you can't even save it to the cloud, the island. Like, you gotta use some transfer kit. happened in Animal Crossing? Nothing, dude. It's just New Horizons talking about its limitations. Like, if you want to have two islands in the same Switch console. safe. I thought that was safe. You go on your account and switch to the island gods. No, that's all, all it means is... Oh wait, did... Hold on, hold on. Hold on. If someone starts a new island, I think so. I'm pretty sure the restriction is like one island per console. I mean, go have a look. about it. Just stealth and patience. I'd know why they did it, but at the same time, it would have been good if they had both options to allow everyone to be on the one island if they want to play that way, or just let people have their separate islands. I feel like people wanting to have their own islands is probably more wanted than sharing. I hate that this part sucks. I have to wait for it to line up. Okay, there we go. Oh, got it.
Oh yeah, no, it would it would be a whole lot easier if there wasn't a gigantic sign in the way. You know, gigantic instructions obstructing my vision. Finally. Okay, now just find the pixel toad. Jeez, that took ages. This one better be easy. Have an initial look first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't have to do this damage less. So, you know, it's not that this dragon got smarter, it's that the obstacles are, are harder. Dragon is still dumb. Didn't really learn. Those instructions need to be so much smaller and not... Like, why, why did... Why does this have to cover the whole screen? Why can't there be like a little icon that's flashing in the bottom corner or something? Why does it have to be this gigantic thing on the screen? See it, yeah. Okay, I hear it. Where? It stopped. It was there somewhere, and now it's gone. I gotta restart. Alright, so it's at that elevator. Don't take it up. Crap. I just remembered I was supposed to go to the shops and... They had potato chips, like, for three bucks. I was supposed to go check and I completely forgot. I mean, hopefully they'll be, still have some tomorrow, but... I... no, I forgot. I completely forgot. I was supposed to after work, and then I made food, and I'm like, alright, uh, I'll play some games. <laughs> I forgot. Because in my mind, it's like, I didn't need groceries, this is just... an extra, you know, it's a bonus, I don't need them. I don't need anything else from there. I'd be going purely for the potato chips.
I'll do it tomorrow, and if, if there's some, there's some, otherwise, it's fine. Okay, so it's along here somewhere, let's have a look. Well, two for eleven, not eleven dollars a bag, but eleven US is still like ridiculous. Comes to like about six bucks Australian a bag. If not more. Where is it? I can hear it. If I go up, it stops. So it has to be here. Anyone see it? Honestly, these days it's, it's better to just get cheese and crackers, they're just better. I don't see it. Unless it was just slightly before this point. If I go up, it's gone. That's all I know. I have no idea where it is. Ah, oh, you little dickhead. I see him. <laughs> okay, got it. Okay. Let's just watch the cutscene. Oh, this is not a cutscene, this is... Special stage, I guess. This has no ramifications. I think it's just... You're gonna get through this no matter what. Yeah, okay. Alright, we're gonna leave it here for Captain Toad for tonight. And uh, we'll continue it next time. If you're watching later on YouTube, hope you did enjoy. And uh, yeah, button clicking and whatnot if you want to support the uh, channel here. Or maybe if you want to watch me play something else, there's like probably two videos 
that's popped up at the moment. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>